Hello there, my name is Glenn Monroe. I'm the owner of Brain Diesel, and in this video, I want to show you a real quick way of determining how many workdays there are left in your year. So to do this, we need three pieces of information. What's the start date we want? So I've put in September the 1st. What's the end date? And then if you want holidays factored into this, you'll need to list all the holidays yourself. A quick Google, Google search for stat holidays and your year will we'll find those dates for you. So now we're going to use a function called net work days. It simply equals net work days. Open bracket. Now I need a start date, so I'll take that one there, comma. I need an end date, so I'll take that one there. And now you'll see the next thing it asks for is holidays, but holidays are in squared brackets. If it's in squared brackets, I don't need it. If I hit, if I hit enter right now, I will see that there are 86 work days between September 1st and December 31st. Work days being Friday, or sorry, Saturdays and Sundays don't count. Now, in this case, I do have holidays. So let's go back into our formula. And I'll go at the very end here. I've got my start date, I have my end date, comma. Holidays, just select the range where your dates are for your holidays. So I've got those selected. Now I hit enter and it drops from 86 to 81 based on these five holidays being selected. When you're putting your dates in, what uh, just things to watch for, like uh, in New Brunswick, we don't have, or we, we get a stat holiday for Remembrance Day, even if it's on a weekend. So November the 11th happens to be on a Sunday this year, so I put in November the 12th. So make those little adjustments as you need to, but once you've listed your dates, start and holidays, that's it, network days. Hope that helps you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.